precision, power, pure need DNA. Three things that make the ATAR Lunchbox Compressor one of the best 500 series Dynamics processors available today. When you first think of Neve compressors, you might think of units such as the 33609, the 2264, or even the cube-shaped 2254 compressor. These vintage Neve compressors used a diode bridge design, which produced a smooth, gentle, and colored tone to anything going through it. But when it comes to console use, something with a bit more precision was required. This is where VCA technology comes in. Neve were an early adopter of VCA technology using voltage controlled amplifiers in early consoles such as the 8108 through to the 50 series console in channel strips, then onto the V series where the controls were expanded even further, giving greater control over all the transients on each of the channels. This technology evolved into the modern ATA-R console channel strip, which features an extremely powerful and precise dynamic section on every channel. Now the ATA-R is the world's most accomplished studio console. You'll see it at legendary studios such as Abbey Road, Air Studios and Capital, just to name a few. And over the past two decades, this console has been used for orchestral scoring, pop music recording, you name it. It has to sound good on everything going through it, and the dynamic section, particularly the compressor, has to be precise and powerful enough to deal with anything you throw at it. The ATAR technology spawned a whole host of outboard units such as the ATA03 Dual EQ, the ATA01 Channel Strip, through to the ATAM Dual Channel Interface, and then the latest ATAC Dual Channel Desktop Compressor, which was the first unit to feature two ATAR VCA compressors in a single unit. When designing the ATAR LBC, our engineers wanted to ensure that this powerful console technology was faithfully recreated in the 500 series format. So one of the key things was to ensure that the specification was really high. This unit has a 27 dBU of headroom, ultra low distortion, dynamic range of 114 dB, and crucially for 500 series, the current draw is less than 100 milliamps, meaning there's no need to worry about maxing out the available current on your 500 rack. The ATAR LBC can be housed in any 500 series chassis all the way up to 10 slot racks. So let's dive into some of the features found on the ATAR LBC. Now, because this is 500 series, it uses the same input and output connections found on the back of your 500 series rack. This is a line level input device, and we have three sets of metering at the top of the unit. So firstly, the input meter shows the incoming signal to the unit. So this is a tricolor LED that illuminates green at minus 30, yellow at plus five, and starts to flicker into the red at plus 18. So you get a good indication before you start to hit analog clipping. The same applies to the output LED, which uses the same configuration. So currently without any compression being applied by the compressor controls, the input and the output LEDs are matched. So I'm feeding the same signal in as what's leaving the unit. So now we can start to compress the signal using the threshold and ratio controls. So as I turn up the threshold, this sets the point at which the VCA compressor starts to activate on the signal. And the ratio determines the amount of compression above this threshold that is applied. The ratio is fully variable, ranging from one to one, which is no compression, gentle compression settings at 1.5 and two, all the way up to hard limiting. So this unit can act as a hard limiter on any signal you put through it. So as we adjust these controls, you'll see the gain reduction meter in the center come to life. And this is a nine segment LED that has an optimized scaling. Now in normal operation, you're not really gonna be applying more than maybe five dB of gain reduction. So we've, we have a higher resolution at this scale, meaning that if you're using very gentle compression, you still get a good indication on the gain reduction meter of exactly what's happening. And then as we start to increase the amount of compression, that res resolution decreases, effectively zooming out. And you can then see that you can get up to 15, 20, even 50 dB of gain reduction with this unit, making this one of the most powerful VCA compressors available today. 
One of the innovative features that's found on the ATAR console and now in the ATAR LBC is the adaptive attack technology used in this compressor. This uses two separate attack times that are program dependent and work together in order to produce an organic response to any input transient hitting the compressor. So if you're using this on a drum bus, for example, a snare drum that's very loud would receive a very quick attack time, meaning the compressor gets to work quickly on that transient. Whereas the most subtle elements feeding the compressor receive a slower attack time, and this blends together to form the overall attack of the unit. The attack time can be adjusted into ultra fast mode by activating fast attack here, which changes the first element of the program dependent attack time down to 0.1 milliseconds, meaning that this is one of the fastest compressors available. And when you combine that with the limiting feature of, of the ratio, this is really useful for using as a, a hard limiter, preventing any transients from breaching the threshold. We next have the variable release control that ranges from 30 milliseconds all the way up to three seconds. So this can be used to fine tune the compressor's recovery time, depending on the instrument or track that you're working on. You can dial this in to be transparent, or you can use it for effects such as pumping and breathing effects. An additional feature included here on the ATAR LBC is the auto release. If I engage auto release, the release time is now handled automatically via a triple time constant technology. This uses three capacitors, each one optimized for short, medium, and long transients. Faster transients receive a short release time, and the longer a transient remains above the threshold, the longer the release time. So the result of this is a truly organic and almost transparent compression effect, meaning that the response of the compressor actively flows with the music. This is particularly useful if you're working with vocals or full program material. Now, if you're using the ATR LBC for voiceover work, the anti-breathe technology built into this unit may be ideal. This prevents unwanted hiss from entering the vocal track if there is a sudden drop in level of 30 dB or more. If you've ever been listening to a podcast and someone stops speaking and then suddenly you hear a lot of hiss coming into the, the recording, this technology can prevent just that. So finally, we have the makeup gain rotary control, which has 30 dB available of makeup gain. And this is used to give you the final output level of the unit. So as I increase this here, you can see that the output level is adjusting, but the input is still st staying on the green. I'm effectively adding 30 dB there to the heavily compressed signal. Now I'm gonna reduce the amount of compression slightly so that you can see that the output level, I've, I've now added 30 dB of gain, so I'm starting to peak on the output there. So by utilizing the controls that we've shown here, this is how you would balance the input, the gain reduction, and the output of the compressor. And we also have the in button, which is effectively a true bypass circuit. So when I disengage in, the compression circuit is not acting on the signal and the input terminals are feeding the output terminals of the unit. So this allows me to AB my compression, making sure that I'm not just adding gain and I'm actually listening to the, the quality and the sound of the compressor rather than just added gain. A new Innovative feature not found on the ATAR compressor is the auto makeup circuit. When I engage auto makeup, the makeup gain pot is removed from the circuit and makeup gain is applied automatically to the output of this unit based on the threshold and ratio amount. So there's an internal calculation happening here. So as I increase the threshold above zero and depending on how much ratio I'm applying, the makeup gain is automatically applied to give you a level output that matches. So this is a really, really useful feature if you want to dial in compression quickly uh, without having to worry about A being signal, for example. You can simply apply your compression here and let the auto makeup do the work for you. In addition to the auto makeup gain, we've added three sidechain filter options to the ATAR LBC. So with nothing engaged, the compressor is acting on the entire frequency spectrum, all of the signal that is feeding the compressor is being compressed and then fed to the output. When I engage the HPF, the 80 Hertz filter is applied to the compressor. So any 
frequencies below 80 hertz are not affecting and not triggering the, the compressor from acting on the signal. This can be really useful if you're using this on a drum bus or if you're using this on kick drums and bass guitars, things that have a lot of low frequency information that may unwantedly activate the compressor. It allows you to really focus the compression onto the frequency band that you want to deal with. In addition to the 80 hertz filter, we also have 125 and then 300 as well. So there's three options there that allow you to fine tune the compressor depending on what you're working with. It's particularly nice on distorted guitars in the 300 mode because any distortion effects that are causing the amp to swell in the low frequency band can be fine tuned, allowing the compressor to really focus in on that mid and high range of the guitar. The final feature to talk about is the link button found at the bottom of each unit. Now, this is a console style VCA link. So what this is doing is it's using a pin on the back of the 500 series chassis in order to send the bus signal from one unit to the other and vice versa. There is no master in this relationship here. All of the units are all now following the same compression bus. So this allows for a group compression to be applied to any of the units with link selected, but no one compressor is controlling the others. They are all controlling each other. So let's say you had a group of percussion instruments all connected to ATAR LBC compressors. At any one moment, whichever compressor receives the loudest signal, that one becomes the trigger for the entire group. And then the next moment, the adjacent compressor has the loudest signal and then that one becomes the, the trigger for the entire group. So this allows the group to be processed dynamically with the music being processed as a true group without one compressor deciding what all of the rest of them do. Individual controls can be adjusted within the group, meaning that you can fine tune individually, but they're still working together in that dynamic group. The ATAR LBC is excellent for mixing, but it's also an excellent tracking compressor. You can see here in the rack now, we have an ATA RLB preamp housed next to the two ATA R LBCs. So essentially, if you were using this for tracking, you could daisy chain through the rack, either via external switching or external uh, cables. You can have a premium ATA R console in your home studio with this type of setup. The transformer balanced ATA RLB preamp combined with the ATAR LBC compressor gives you that premier Neve console sound baked into your recordings and can be used either on the road or in your home studio.